March 15th, 12.07 a.m. Theater of Naturalist Lobby. So now we know who the, Agutsu, the Agaratsu really was. Yet, there remains much to this case that needs to be resolved. Cut the weapons cross country lines, for example. Two countries have incredibly strict security systems and entry procedures. Such a miracle, it's impossible someone to have smuggled them in. Smuggling them in, huh? We need to open a new line of investigation just on the suspect alone. Before we do, I'd like to go through my evidence once more. The necessary evidence has been removed. Remaining evidence has been rearranged. Well, now let me have a look at that evidence. We have Kojun's body because murder. We have the Aladassian knife with a new description. Carried across country lines. The key still. The statue. The paper document. The bills. The samurai dog still. The flowers. The note. The guitar pick. The sprout, the spear, the statue, the other, st the other statue, the photo still, the fair sticks. We still have a lot of evidence here, several pages. Okay. Anyway, oh, before we go on, I would like to have a look at these. Uh, with the candy striped pattern, there's dirt on the tip, so right? Trump card. Evidence. Orders from the smuggling boss. Fred attained it, but it was stolen. Okay, very well. Let's continue. Hey, there's a VCR here, sir. Maybe we can see what's on the tape Detective Bad gave us. Come show you, you arrested him real quick. Piece of evidence from the KG8 incident, hidden from sight for ten long years. I know this is related to the current case somehow. Detective Kumshu, if you could please play the tape for us. First thing, sir. What is it, Sean? This man, it's Manny Cochin. And he's holding a knife in his hand. This looks like footage from a security camera at the entrance of an apartment building. Apartment building? How do you figure that? I'd like you actually get, actually read the summary file on the KG8 incident. The crime scene was the victim's own apartment. This footage was shot at an entrance to the victim's own apartment building. The trial was fair to claim this evidence existed. However, no one could find it. Yes, somehow someone's able to steal it and hide it, hide it through Mr. Ernest Armano. Let's see how this would have been a definite piece and why someone want to hide it. It's a piece of evidence from a 10 year old case. There's no way it's related to this case we're working on now, sir. Actually, it has everything to do with the case we're working on now. Mingly even went this far to use Mr. Portsman to retrieve it. Which means that in this video lies a very inconvenient bit of footage of the ringleader. Where? Where? <sighs> Wait, what was that? Huh? The bit you played just now. Please show it to me again. This car, it's something we cannot overlook. What is that, sir? Look here, Tech Take Shoe. There's a flag on it. This is the national flag of the Principality of Kudopia. Because it has a national flag on it, we know this to be an official government car. But the question we should be asking ourselves is what was a government car doing there? Oh, hello. Ah, this fun car by Mr. Edzra. So you were here all of this time. Take that tape out of there. It's probably not good to have an ambassador right next to the, the secret evidence. Ambassador Alba, thank you very much for continuing the investigation even at this time of night. If only I was even a bit any more careful. This tragedy would have never have happened. I'm truly sorry. It wasn't your fault, sir. We had nothing to do with how careful you were. You ready to get those crazies? You're gonna even chase that recipe. Now well, then, let's get down to the real reason why I came looking for the two of you. 
I'd like you to put the investigation on hold for a while. Can you do that? Uh, excuse me. Have you apprehended the thief that turned the Zabesi upside down? We're in the middle of an event celebrating our country's reconciliation. You don't exactly have the police and detectives walking around here forever. You're scaring the visitors away, so I hope that you can understand how I feel. Uh, but we must finish our investigation and resolve the remaining issues. Why don't we leave the rest of the other Dean and Bubby's police? Rested her, we are so close. Just a little more and... Miss Von Karma, I'm afraid I've made up my mind. Without my permission, you can't proceed with the investigation anyway, right? That's true, however... As you said at the very beginning... This area can be considered to be Alabastian soil. In which case, we are nothing but foreigners in their land. That's really where our investigation ends. Hold it. Chief Fu, we found Miss Redworth, sir. Chief Fu, this way! Yo! Agent Lang, you're back on the scene rather quickly. Well, I'd, if I laid back and took a break, I'd lose the scene of my prey, Mr. Prosecutor. Agent Lang, why, in the, why have you returned? Because I have to solve this case no matter what. Well, I'm sorry to inform you. And don't take this the wrong way, I don't suspect you personally. However, a member of the Interpol was just found to be a thief, and so... Err... Under these circumstances, I'll at least to put you an investigation on hold. And after all, I believe our own police can know things from here. They are quite capable. Err... Uh, this rate investigation really will come to a close. <laughs> the rest of the world, but I get it now, I really do. Oh, I'm very glad you understand how I feel. No, not that. What I was talking about is... I know who the killer is around tonight's murder. Wow. You... No... The... Killer? Do you really mean that, Agent Ling? Heh, <laughs> words don't lie. Then who is it? Well, let me first say that I'm not talking about Mr. Cochin's murder. That was all she Langs, he says, the truth lies not at the extent, but rather at the shrines outside the maze itself. This is unexpectedly simple, so let me ask you this. Who do you think was Damastu's killer? <laughs> I'll tell you who. It was you, Francisca von Karma. What? What are you talking about? I was the killer. Hey, wait, but that's impossible. Yeah. Although, the whip is actually quite... Yo! Hold your tongue and that ludicrous remark you're about to make. Agent Lang, are you seriously accusing her of murder? Yeah, I am. She doesn't appear to be joking. Hey, sis, remember that just where I was... Her ambassador Elba went to give a speech. He called you into his office, right? Yes, he did. But what does that have to do with anything? I'm getting to that. Furthermore, in order to solve both cases, you moved around rather freely between Alabast and Al Babali, did you not? Jackson! And where is your evidence that I am the killer? Hmm. I'm just getting to that. Trust me, I'll show them with you in due time. Best of all, but in order for me to bring this case to a close, I'll need to inspect your office one more time. Will you grant me permission? With things as they are, I suppose I don't have much of a choice, do I? Good, let's move out. Now oh, don't even think about running away, sis. My pack will be keeping a close eye on you, you can bet your bottom dollar on that. Mm, as if I would have any reason to flee. Just so we're clear, your logic had better be sound. Because I'll accept nothing short of a perfect explanation. He's rather upset, not that I blame her. <laughs> I expected that you'd accept no less. But we'll see how long you can keep that up nose of yours stuck up in the air like that. Ah. Agent Lang. As someone related to tonight's case, Chris, that you allow me to take part. So that I may clean up my superior's mess. Hmph. <laughs> I guess I should. The more the merrier, especially when it's this peanut gallery. Oh, in that case, I want to join too. I still haven't seen what it looks like in On the Best yet. With the K in the air, let me in too, pal. I can sit around and do nothing when Miss Karma's in trouble. 
Hey Gummy, let's have a competition just so you can save her first, okay? Okay, I'll take you up on that. Oh yeah, I'm fired up and ready to go. As a detective, I don't believe this is something you're supposed to be excited over. <laughs> so this is gonna be a really, gonna get really nice interesting. Mr. Alba, I'll be bringing these kids along for the ride. Very well. I would like you to keep in mind that this will be your last chance. <laughs> I'll have this whole mess cleaned up before you know it. Let's go. Everybody, coming along. March 13th, 12.53 a.m. Alba Bestine and Bessie in Bessie's office. Okay, now let's go over the facts one more time. Minnie Cochin's body was found over there in the secretariat's office in Babali. The woman that took his life was one of the Alabaster ornamental knives. And then the mask of the body of Master Mask 2, Mr. J Kashino, was found here in the Alabaster ambassador's office. Although our investigation we found the murder weapon, it was this Permadu statue. This is actually a Babali statue. This case, no matter how you look at it, just, if it wasn't you, then there's no one else who could have pulled this off. It's at length. Do you understand the full implications of what you're saying? Of course I do, sis. And I'm serious. You're on the trail of the smuggling ring. You want any evidence you could find. So while people were distracted by the aggressor's appearance, you snuck in here. That's when you two ran into each other. You and that other thief that took advantage of the confusion from the fire. You know if I were two, how do you explain the movement of the weapons? Don't worry, I plan to show that you're the culprit behind that too. You had permission to investigate both embassies at will. That kind of free reign would have easily taken the weapons across country lines. Hey now! Look sis, I thought I already told you, I'm not messing around here. Eh, uh, this isn't directly tied to the smuggling ring. But Sheena certainly is tied to the smuggling ring. He's right in saying that she is a member of the smuggling ring. However, the connection between this case and the ring... Not be deeper than what any of us can imagine. Urgh. Let's get this this circus over with already. Princess, you need to calm down. So only know the facts of the Alabastian side of the case. I don't believe you can see the case as a whole, and therefore solve it. What? Don't worry, I'm taking this seriously as well, and I'll prove to your innocence. That's all you wait to be, Mr. Prosecutor. When you come with any everything else, you can top my hypothesis. Of course, your explanation has to solve the mystery of the moving weapons as well. Of course, and I will. Let's now delve into the truth behind the murder of Damask too. You understand, don't you, Miles Edgeworth? This isn't just a confrontation against Agent Lang. If you can't figure out how the murder of Damask too is related to the smuggling ring, then I'm in the end of our investigation. As long as I have no good counter to this hypothesis, then the best I can do is walk the thin tightrope and see what I can do. Come on, Mr. Press, let's get started. Yes, let's. All right, border crossing weapons. One of us knives was used to mur in Babali to murder Mr. Kuchin. The murder weapon in the killing in Damascus two was Babali's primitive statue. Somehow these two objects were able to penetrate the two of the countries' impenetrable security. The only one who traversed the two countries before, before and after the crimes was you. As long as I can explain the weapons moved about, Francisco made a suspect. You got it, Mr. Prosecutor, and why don't you start giving me a hard time? Now these circumstances, who, who the heck can carry a weapon across country lines? I've worked through every possibility, but there's only there's only one that's possible. You're a boss. Agent Lang, what I've learned for you just now is you've lost sight of yourself. What are you talking about? Focusing too intently on that is what's in front of us, we become blind to the truth. Not something Agent Lang Z never said anything to that effect. You prosecutor! Do you think you are speaking about Lang Z's proverbs like that? <laughs> I don't need his proverbs. My words are all you need to see the truth. Okay. <laughs> and I didn't get my my whole full bar back, so that's inconvenient. Okay. Alright, let's just take this from the top. 
and cut this knife across our country lines. Good, but that's not the only thing that we did. Let's forget about the other weapon. Nick, there was only one. And the Primitive Statue. You're saying that the Primitive Statue was also borrowed by Francesca. I'm sorry, it's late. It's like midnight. I'm tired. Alright. Give me a break. It's almost one in the morning. I'm sleepy. Alright. Give me a break. Ahem. Anyway. Like I told you before, that's the only way it makes sense. And how exactly did she bring it over? I hadn't figured that out yet. <laughs> that's a rather weak statement, considering how sure you are. Maybe, but there is one thing I do know for sure. Somehow these two helped you to penetrate the two countries in pinnacle security. Impenetrable. Should I, actually, I should hardly think so. You've seen the top of the wall between the two countries, right? Who in the world could cross over that? Yeah, not even I could climb over that thing with all the barbed wire. No way I'll get in the other embassies through the doors in the theater of natural. So we ready for the knife in the produce at your first two countries. And through the security camera equipped, well guarded doors. One went to first countries one after the ground was Francisca. She was really the only person who traveled between two countries. Queen of the guard at both doors, she was the only one to go back and forth. It's just there was another vest when the Agretu showed. And then just before you guys found Mr. Cochin's body, she entered the Bali. Then we can assume that she brought the knife in the Bali. And how do you explain the Permadu statue? I haven't quite figured that out yet. However, the fact that the two weapons crossed the border. Who that the killer must have also traveled across the country lines. My things that cross the border are the primitive statue and the knife. I probably think that those are the only two items in Chilling. Really? I mean, the note. I mean, this note kind of did. Hmm. Where exactly I need to... I'm thinking it's more... Hmm. I feel like it's the no, but... I'm gonna try... Okay. Agent Lang, the two items are not the only two to cross the border tonight. Oh. Best two was killed the Bali's Prune statue, yes. But if that's the case, tell me, where did all the best Prune statue go? To the Bali. Precisely. And the two statues really were switched. And this means both statues were smothered across the board at some point. Which means a total of three items were smothered across the embassies. Hmm. 
I guess so. But you know what? It doesn't matter the number of items, only this sis is the only one who could have done it. Because the person who went back and forth between the Alabasta and Vivaldi is her. Is that really true? Is so there no one else who traveled between two countries? Actually, there was definitely another person. One who paid a visit to both sides of the wall. Objection! Yeah, that's true. Is that really so agent Ling? <laughs> what a lousy time to try and bluff your way out of this. Checked out what the guard said, along with the security camera footage. And I'll return my spots at that easy. Those are some other way, way through the theater doors. What other way? I don't know if he managed to cross the border unharmed. Point out, open a whole new possibility. I hesitate to bring this out. As long as entity exists, the impossible, the impossible becomes a possibility. You got some clever idea in mind. I do, and I can show it to you through a single piece of evidence. <laughs> Fine then. Let's see this piece of evidence. I'll show me the other route. Da 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 the picture! Agent Lang, I'm sure you're familiar with this unforgettable photo. That's for natural photo, like I said before. Humans can't fly. No, of course not. I understand that perfectly well. Don't start claiming she and somehow wings either. I wouldn't dream of claiming that. No one allow you to take back what you said either. I'll say it again, it's not humanly possible to fly through the air without wings. You better have a good explanation for this, Mr. Prosecutor. Uh, how can I prove it was who it was that flew through the air in this photo? Wait, not humanly possible. Eureka. Very well. You have your explanation. Sounds like you have a good idea simmering inside that head of yours. Let's hear it. The face hidden within this photo's blurry trailed shadow is... It is... It is... <laughs> um... Alabaster statue? Take that! Naturally, the shadow is the third smuggled object. The primitive statue replica. Y you can't be serious. Yagaretsu, neither. Cleisto Yu, dressed as Agent Sheena, whatever, was inside with Bali. She dressed the replica statue up in clothes and launched it through the air. <sighs> Mr. Prosecutor! You a very pussy bit in your explanation. I know I did. She launched it through the air. Ha! <laughs> How exactly did she do that? He's literally burying his wings at me. But he has a point. How exactly did it move through the air like that? As long as this remains unsolved, we'll be able to move any closer to the truth. Which reminds me, didn't I say this earlier? Hey, Sis, remember that just before the investor album went to give a speech? He called you into his office, right? Just before the murder, Francisco was called here right in this very room. That's the case, then there may be another avenue I can pursue. Agent Ling, in order for me to answer that question, I need to hear for testimony from his phone karma. Oh, what are you up to now, pretty boy? Earlier you mentioned something of interest to me. You said that just before the murder occurred, Sun Karma had been in this room because Ambassador Alba had called for her. For that reason alone, you believe her to be the killer. Yeah, I guess I did say something like that. In that case, I believe it's my duty to ask you what her side of the story is. <laughs> Do you really think a criminal would tell us the honest truth? How, how dare you? Like I've said numerous times, there's absolutely no proof that I am the killer. Mail said, Worth, don't tell me you suspect me too. I don't. However, I can't ignore the fact that you were in this room at one point in time. That's why I'd like to hear about your movements in this room. Eh. Francesca, I feel like I don't have enough information. Which is why your testimony is incredibly important to the outcome of this case. Alright, so, what do you like me to talk about? Hmm, I'd like you to please testify to your movements in this room until the murder occurred. <laughs> Alright, let's try this your way for a change. What if she is to say turns out to be a waste of time? I'll place her in arrest faster than you can howl no! <laughs> As you wish. 
Okay, um, we're moving into a to a different section with Francisca. So next time we come back, we'll continue this. All right, next time. <laughs>